just in, Governor of U.S. Virgin Islands rises up, issues shocking Trump message. As we speak, Democrats and the mainstream media are trying to turn the situation in Puerto Rico into President Donald Trump's version of Hurricane Katrina. Well, one Caribbean leader is not going along with media script. According to Newsmax, Governor Kenneth Mapp of the U.S. Virgin Islands released a public statement that reaffirmed President Trump's commitment to the territory. It read, President Donald J. Trump, his White House team, the Federal Emergency Management Agency and our other federal partners have given us tremendous support. Governor Mapp thanked others for their help, including U.S. Virgin Islands native and NBA star Tim Duncan. However, Governor Mapp was also quick to point out that his territory still needs a lot of work. The governor's statement included a direct request for more private aid money, which read, We still need a great deal of help and I am asking all of our friends in the U.S. Congress for help and to support www.usvercovery.org so we may rebuild America's paradise, known as the U.S. Virgin Islands, he said. If there was ever a time that the 4 million American citizens living in the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico need your help, it is now. In reviewing the damage suffered by the U.S. Virgin Islands, it is not hard to see why money and aid is still needed. Thanks to Hurricanes Irma and Maria, many citizens in the U.S. Virgin Islands are still without power, shelter, food, or clean drinking water. More than 100,000 residents have been rendered homeless thanks to these natural disasters. Many have reported that Terma and Maria have set the infrastructure of the U.S. Virgin Islands back by decades. However, according to Governor Mapp, the USV are already on the road towards recovery thanks to the hard work of the Trump administration, which has already been hit by three major hurricanes this year. As bad as Puerto Rico is right now, the damage it sustained due to Hurricane Maria was on par with what the USV suffered. There are some key differences that explain why the media is so quick to talk about Puerto Rico, and not the U.S. Virgin Islands. On the one hand, Puerto Rico is a larger island, and is more densely populated. There are also far more Puerto Ricans living stateside than Virgin Islanders. More importantly, prior to the hurricane, Puerto Rico was in terrible shape. Thanks to decades of corruption and kleptocratic governments, San Juan has an awful infrastructure and its social services were already at the breaking point before Maria made landfall. Also, for years, Puerto Rico's economy has been in the red and has required numerous American bailouts. While it may not be good optics for him to say it, President Trump is correct in characterizing Puerto Rico as a mess long before the hurricane came. Hopefully. The ongoing recovery in the U.S. Virgin Islands will be repeated in Puerto Rico. It is clear though, that San Juan needs a lot of help, and Washington, D.C., may be getting tired of constantly bailing out Puerto Rico.